皆さんこんにちは。Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Kenya Hara. Tim's presentation and his uh, uh, proposal. I fully agree. The roles of designers, I think, are changing. Creating brand conceptualization, of course, that's important. Uh, but uh, in a significant uh, point, to visualize the potential, I think, is important. And uh, I would like to talk about this in more detail later, but uh, you have a great person, for example, like the days of metabolism, uh, to change things. That's the mode of the past. When someone discovers a new concept, uh, then society as a whole will transform. I think that's how cities change. So the theme is visualize and awaken to let people be aware. I think that's where the potential of design is. Mr. Nanjo uh, referred to House Vision, my project. That's one example. And La uh, which is a uh, directory service uh, uh, in China. I like to talk about that. That's a new form of visualization. What is this? In 2009, Senseware project uh, exhibition was held. Very thin fibers, one seventh thousandth of a hair uh, is, uh, was put together for this uh, floor cleaner by Panasonic. It's a concept model. It uses the sensor. Uh, to clean and swipe the floor. And this is Nissan laughing car, smiling car. The cars would not collide anymore, but should uh, the cars be allowed to smile, I think the relationship is going to change as well. So this is another potential of fiber. And this is the logo, what I call the water logo. Water repellent uh, fiber. Uh, for the Senseware logo. Sometimes the logos are washed away. Uh, the injection needles are uh, hidden beneath uh, this uh, transmitter, and that's where the water comes. Uh, water can be very beautiful, like diamonds, if you can control it. So this is visualization. Visualization is like, what if? We don't know if that's true or not. But we're, visualization means uh, making things that you might think that is true presented in the way that is visible to you. And that's what I call visualization. And I realized one thing through this exhibition, state of the art technology of Japan being used for this but we're not using traditional Japanese icons, and yet it was considered, it was called very Japanese. So I thought maybe we can do something entirely different using the traditional Japanese stuff. And I uh, focused on houses, and that's what this house vision is all about. I believe that houses could be a very important um, cross-section um, mobility, aging society, aging market. I think they all is based on health, uh, which is the target of conventional beauty. Uh, we have been living in the same house, uh, same forms of house since World War II. Uh, and uh, people felt that this is investment, and that's why people lived in uh, the houses uh, that are very conservative. Uh, but we are living in the uh, country uh, with high technology where things change very dramatically. Well, the product is like a fruit of the tree. And what kind of interesting fruits we can get, that depends on the soil. Japan, 
economic and culture block is a very interesting one. And the car, which yielded as a fruit, which is different from European cars. And uh, we would like to yield fruits, houses as fruit. This is education of desire, the latent desire to be surfaced where design works. Therefore, design is education of desires. And housing literacy, that is, uh, ordinary citizens on their own create their living environment. Such ability is improved, then Japan will be a very interesting living in the cultural and economic region. That is a very important point. Well, Japan finally infiltrated skeleton, built skeleton and the flexible interior. We can separate those two. And I would like to briefly touch upon the situation, 80s, 90s, 200s. The houses in, built in those er eras can be reused. So the buildings can be reused now. Well, Japanese, uh, this is ages of Japanese buildings, Japan. The whiter, the younger. So Japanese constructions are uh, younger. So it can be reused. And this is another interesting data. 50 years ago, 4.14 persons per house, including grandpa and grandma. 2010, 2.42. This is a national average. And number one is uh, living alone, and a couple is next. So those total of those two is uh, more than half. Tokyo has higher, even higher. Therefore, the content of a house has changed. Changed. That is the current situation of Japan, and also the saving in cash. This is just the ordinary person, like uh, 800 trillion yen, yen or which are possessed by 50s, 60s years old people, as Mr. Masuda mentioned this morning. The large amount of savings to be spent in which market? Then houses could be a very interesting proposal. This is not a good cartoon, but the already existing uh, contents, it's like uh, if you convert the inside just as easily as you would with uh, one of those uh, local foods, then it will be very interesting. If you are not a cooker, it's just a sink and a refrigerator, it will be very convenient. You have never seen one like this before. But uh, any something like this can be accepted. What Doing something about the house is very risky, but currently the social network has been very developed. As long as you share information, it will not be risky. This will be accelerated. As was mentioned earlier, repeatedly, energy is like energy, mobility, and home appliances converted into houses. It is houses, the hub of that. And also senior, mature people, the new housing market. Not housing for family, but uh, the house for old people or health industry and also home delivery services. Many p things can come across with houses. Well, we have a disaster in, disaster in Fukushima. We have to be an advanced country in terms of energy. So creating energy, storing of energy, and distribution of energy, what to do with it is a very important. But house will become the very basic base of that. That is the potential of houses. And mobility evolution. In Japan, the major car manufacturers are very great, but uh, personal mobility, they are conducting researches on personal mobility. And elevator, escalators, the mobility which can ride on an escalator or elevator, if such evolution occurs, then that will change the living environment of a house. Personal mobility will change the shape of a house. And the complex composite houses, comp composite appliances, it's not as easy as just a simple thing. But uh, we take off our shoes at the entrance. And uh, there are many pieces, interfaces with our body. And uh, life log can be 
logged from many aspects. How to share them, how to return such data, we have to think about the house as a field. Various professionals, based on the platform of a housing, then new things will be born. Well, housing literacy, the change in the awareness of a residence, just I talked about soil, will share the information base in Japan is a very close sharing of information. Therefore, housing literacy will be accelerating. And uh, the later stage of life, the older people have a high level of knowledge and uh, awareness for beauty. And that's another driving force. and the operation of the resources of the awareness of beauty. Well, traditional Japanese beauty should be created for resources for the future. But the house is a place where you can express that uh, idea of beauty, aesthetics. Therefore, as a national strategy, Houses have to be thought about, not about cars. Of course, energy policy, we have to think about housing. And the real estate development, of course, it has to change. Interior and housing building methods, convenience stores and home deliveries. If we make uh, eye contact simultaneously, then the big potential for new industries. And then we conducted the uh, house vision exhibition. Exhibition is where people get together and uh, they can try various things and you can actually see those ideas. It's not the house possessed by, by uh, manufacturers and they should collaborate with uh, architects so that uh, what if type of, it may not be new, but what if, what about this type of exhibition? The baseball field in Odaiba I personally I rented this space and house vision site was created. It's a venue. Kuma, the architect, constructed the venue and these uh, lumbers were used. 1.5 by 10.5 times 10.5 and uh, it's like in a lumber field. It's therefore floor and walls, it can go back to the original material it's not even considered as rears. So just a temporarily, this was a storage place for these lumbers. But very beautiful venue was created. This auditorium is like a storage place for lumbers. And many people visited, of course, uh, Odaiba to attract people for like a paid event. But many people were interested in housing. This is a media day. and. Uh, I'm uh, using a loudspeaker and Itotoyo and Lixo joined together to create a house, nostalgic house. Semi-open space is created for good ventilation and where you can barbecue. So tight fit together with the uh, ventilation got together, like uh, placing a barbecue table inside of a house, such an idea. This is a traditional Japanese uh, house and going using such traditional ideas as well. Honda and the Sosuke Fujimoto joined together to create this uh, house of mobility and energy. Well, mobility and house, of course, house will be the ma major battlefield for cars. The house can generate energy and store energy. And it is as smart as that. And the three-layer system, very private space, as well as uh, someplace in between the outer layer, outermost layer is where EV can come in. This three-layer space, mobile, mobile robot stools, removable robot stools, and uh, you can write on this if you have 
disability with your legs, and the unicab is waiting for you just, be, just beside your bed. So smart energy is used for this type of uh, mobility. So seamless energy generation as well as consumption is joined in the environment of a house. This robot's tool, utilizing uh, technology from ASIMO, you can easily manipulate this. So it's already complete, which surprised me. Japanese car manufacturers have these advantages. And this one by Toyota Winglet, personal ro he's the manager of the personal robot section. He's become so skillful. And uh, if you use this to get to the elevator or escalator, and the mobility itself will be changed. The Honda's House of Energy and Mobility. So it's easy to think of in terms of a house. Yamamoto, Riken, and Smith, and Naka, together with various companies, they form a Society for Future Society study. One of the results that they obtained it's not a living with, it's a house for 500 people living together. Then large kitchen can be utilized and delivery system. Community of 500 people, the small economy will be born, which is different from the tough economy outside. More soft or softer economy can be born. And the model of one-fifth is used relatively big. Like a small stores can be established, and if you go up the ladder, there's a private space, and outside it's just a small store. And the communal ba bathing space, and Sumitomo Forest, which, and Sugimoto Hiroshi, the modern artist, joined together to create a house of Suki how to utilize uh, traditional resources for future. This is what Mr. Sugimoto is good at. Very seriously, his key house, House of Suki, is renovated by pattern matching type of uh, combination. Well, this way of living is possible. Well, for those adults in the 50s, 60s, 70s, they love houses of suki, and that technology is preserved. Therefore, it's possible. And it is also popular with younger people. And uh, old material will be the material for future. Like hundreds of years ago, old uh, material can be used for future. Like uh, high pressure glass is used, and the tea ceremony room is recreated and uh, young people are looking on, rather. And also Mujirushi, Muji, together with Shigeru Ban, proposed the house of furniture. Well, v Muji has a very precise modules for storage, like storage and uh, equipment pieces. The not very tight pieces, so you can combine them to create a living environment. There are no walls and pillars because the furniture itself, structurally speaking, is functioning as a wall or a pillar or column. Therefore, there's no waste and uh, no danger of pushed over by the fallen furniture. This is a house of furniture which was proposed. And Toto and YKKAP, Narusei Inokuma, and uh, Makoto Azuma, the plant artist. This is a toilet. As you know, Japanese toilet is very hygienic. Maybe because we take off our shoes when we enter the house. And uh, further hygienistic uh, toilet. Probably the toilet will be the most hygienic space, like inside of a hotel and also 
maybe we will be changing the hotel and also the sense of value. And the light and water is、uh, given, and the plant will grow. So this in this environment. So if you can mix those things、uh, together, you can create something very stimulating. And Mr. Masuda of Tsutaya, who spoke、um, this morning, and also Tokyo R Real Estate got together. To create a house like this, according to Mr. Matsuda, it's not the manufacturer or architect, but now the users have a power to edit their own houses. In the case of music and video, they are edited by the users, so the houses should be the same. So it's not just showing the prototype, but we wanted to be able to show that the users can come up with the、uh, very various ideas. This is a, a regular、uh, sized house. And、uh, there's a huge、uh, table, and there's a kitchen over there, and the children can、uh, do their homework. So you don't have to separate them into small、uh, rooms, but rather it can be one big space. So you might have a different hobbies. So free, very free、um, way of、uh, editing、uh, your own house. So the skeleton, you can get the skeleton, and you can freely edit your own、um, house. So how? Do you make the users more aware of this? And if people become more aware, I think that maybe we can create something totally new with the Japanese houses. And design needs to function as an education. We have two sessions per day. Sugimoto-san, Ito-san, come to speak. And、uh, we can hear a、uh, very enthusiastic、uh, sessions. So just listening to this session、uh, could be considered as a、uh, educational. And there are more than forty、uh, sessions that we had. And I was a moderator of most of the sessions, so I quickly learned many things. So that's um, uh, how activities expanded. So as a result, it was a three-week exhibition and a motor show. Has supported or、uh, stimulated the economic growth, and I think it was an equivalent、uh, type of the platform that、uh, we created, focusing on the houses. It's not the manufacturers or the companies who are taking the lead, lead, but rather the people who live or the users can get involved. So, as I said at the beginning, the regular people can think of ideas. Their houses, they can create their own houses. So when they become aware of that, I think we can move to the future society. Another thing, I'd like to speak five more minutes. And in China, this is the project that we are doing. This is called Dashi La, and Tianmen、uh, Forum at the edge of it, 1.5 kilometer by 1.5 kilometer. This is the whole area, and、uh, I was given the commission to. Make a plan for this. Yang Wei Chu Street is this one. This one. This is a Yang Wei Chu Street, and. And I was given. Uh, the um uh, the assignment to make the, the planning and and I try to. Do this 3D、uh, images of this street, so you can actually take a look at this street from anywhere. So I created this, and when you create an application, you can just use your fingers to move、uh, this around, and you can look at uh, those uh, houses and buildings from the all the different、uh, angles. So this is application, and、uh, this is the Chinese.、Uh, Um, the ink are、uh, red and、uh, white, and I created a map. And in the map, this application using this map can be、um, embedded into the smartphone. This is a street view, so the same 3D view.、Um, you can look at it from the different angles. So if you click, you can get more information. I think it would be easier for you to see the video. So you can pinch in, pinch out. And you can rotate it, you can change the angle. So G- there is a G- GPS. So where you are and which angle can be seen. 
and if you touch or click, you can get more detailed information. So. Of the Jin Empire. Movie or the video can be also embedded. So Street View can be seen. And the Google map is very well made. If the Google map tries to cover the all the globe, this is more like a local uh, little reader. And this is the system that uh, we built. Now, this can be applied to different areas. It can be uh, used as a guidebook or a handkerchief or scarves or wrapping paper and a coaster for the bars. And you can actually show where you are on this uh, map. So, of course, uh, the signage system was what I was uh, uh, assigned to uh, make. So this is a signage uh, system. This is uh, just like a huge iPhone. So this is a still picture, but uh, theoretically, uh, you should be able to shrink and enlarge uh, the map on the screen. But as for the sign, or, um, this is a, just a still picture, but the application can be linked to this. So inside the historical building, uh, we have this kind of a signage. And when we have something like this, what happens is that uh, it's not just an inconvenient uh, instruction, but uh, the future of uh, the town uh, can be seen. There are many historical uh, buildings and their design offices, cafes, and restaurants. Without breaking uh, the old buildings, you can take advantage of them, and you can go into the inside of it. And so the, this zone as a whole with the historical buildings, it is the asset, and people are becoming more aware of that. So as I said, rather than showing the overall plan, but those visitors or people who live can become more aware of the importance of what they have. And that would create uh, the future for them. So in the past uh, two years, I have been involved in this project. So um, little by little, I think we are enriching this application. And uh, this is uh, working better, and I feel um, satisfaction from that. And I touched upon the house vision earlier, and so the regular people feeling that, that they can create their own houses. So when they become more um, active, I think that will lead to the change in the society. Uh, so 60 people, 60% 60 of the people will live in the urban areas in the future. So we have to have a future in the cities, and we have to do something in Japan. So in order for that to happen, Japan should take the leadership to change itself so that we will have a future. Uh, there are a lot of challenges in front of us, but each one of the challenges, I believe, are opportunities. So what do we do with them? We have to visualize the future, and we have to generate uh, the uh, awareness. So visualize and awaken. With that, I'd like to end my presentation. Thank you for your attention.